Hi, this is Dave from Steel City Drones and Steel City Drones Flight Academy. Today, I'm here, I wanna talk about and straighten out how high you're allowed to fly your drone legally through the FAA. Commercially wise, you can go in some situations higher than 400 feet. So, what that means is under the Part 107 certification rules and regulations, you're allowed to fly up to 400 feet over a structure. Now also the rule states that you have to be within 400 feet radius of that structure. So right now behind me we have a cell tower that is 400 feet high. You would think that by what the rules and regulations are saying that you would allow you could fly 400 feet over a 400 foot structure and go 800 feet. That is not the case where I am standing, okay? Yes, in some circumstances you can, but as we talk about in our uh, flight academy, we really hammer down airspace and the, the actual definition of what these things mean because you really need to understand it. So what this means is where I am right now is class G airspace and that's the roadmap for part 107 operators. They're allowed to fly anywhere in class G airspace. But where I am right now, class, the overhanging class E airspace starts at 700 feet. So that means we could only go up 700 feet high or 699 foot high by what our definition of the part 107 regulations would be, okay? If we need to go higher than 700 feet, we would need an airspace waiver to fly in class E airspace. Class G starts at the ground, goes up to 699, Class E airspace starts at 700 feet and then goes up to the class overhanging Class C airspace above that. So now you might be saying, well, isn't Class E airspace start at 1,200 feet in some circumstances? Again, our students in our flight academy understand that if it's outside the red vignette, it's 1,200 feet. If it's inside that red vignette, it's 700 feet. I hope this really clarifies really as much as I possibly can because there's a lot of people out there that really get confused about airspace and some people take uh, a one specific exception and think that it is a general rule. So that's not the case. So I hope this helps and if you have any questions, give me a call. Thanks. If you like this video and would like to see more drone training videos in the near future, please hit and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Looking to learn how to fly drones like a professional? Steel City Drones Flight Academy has exclusive drone training content. So go over and check out SteelCityFlightAcademy.com for more information.